The salutations, my friends, and welcome back to the mod Dreams of a White Russian Victory, in which we're playing as the Kingdom Now of Ukraine. We have quite a few comments to get to, and we've just begun industrialization for the Kingdom of Ukraine. But let's begin with uh, the question I asked you guys yesterday, one of the main questions. Whether I should use superior firepower or mobile warfare, because that will really determine which path we will take in terms of our army composition. Regardless, I'm going to use a lot of infantry. So here are the results. Uh, the support for both sides. Quite a bit of support, actually, but I think overall, actually, I don't really think, I know, from the, reading your comments yesterday, by the time of this video, when it comes out, there's just a tiny, tiny bit more support for superior firepower. That is a doctrine that just has a little bit more support. Now, mobile warfare is not bad for, not terrible for infantry, because you get uh, maybe a few buffs with mobile infantry, you get more organization, that's pretty much it. Um... Overall, there was just a tiny, a smidgen more support for superior firepower by like, by, by like one vote. That, that was literally it, just like by like one vote. There was uh, just a little bit more support. Ooh, dispersed industry, we... This is being researched. Wait, do we... Huh. Okay, whatever. Um, regardless, let's see. So you guys recommended me, or recommended that I... Uh, we'll probably get this one done too, expansion and stuff. That I used... All sorts of different stuff in terms of vehicles in this campaign. Instead of using tanks, people are recommending that I just use motorized, mechanized, and armored cars, which sound cool, but without, um, you know, without tanks, your armor, you're gonna get pierced really badly, and that's not really cool. Now, I do need to do this, get more population and more, get rid of the communist threat, which actually hurts our stability, but we already have 100%. I'm gonna focus a little more on industrialization, which I probably shouldn't. But I'm going to first do some civilian industry so we can build ourselves up even faster. So the construction of new factories that produce civilian and consumer goods will better enable us to take more construction projects at a faster rate and also provide more goods to increase other people's quality of life. Cool, so I will use motorized. I guess in this campaign I will focus more on mechanized whenever we get that, you know, unlocked. You know, by the time, I forget what year, is it 41 or 40? Where you can get mechanized. It's 1940, so I'll start using mechanized as soon as I possibly can. Uh, and I'll put them with tank divisions, probably not for normal infantry, just because we can't afford it, but here we are. Here we have with industrialization, actually, over here we have industrialization minimal, minus 15%. So, right now, if we do this, we get civilian factory plus one infrastructure, uh, you get nationalizing stuff. I could do all this stuff, but I want to first do mandatory literacy requirements so we can start getting rid of, the, rid of our research debuff. So, that, it is what it is. Thank you very much. Mm, research extraction could be pretty darn good. But we have no tungsten. Hmm. So that's not really going to help us. It's 37 still. Let's get some better fighters. That'd be very good to do. So, a couple other things. Uh, someone recommend I play as Romania in in the name of the Tsar mod. Okay. I, I, I will. Cool. Uh, maybe eventually. It's best if you leave that down in my Discord server. Because I in my server, there is a little channel where you put like suggestions for future campaigns. I'll remember it much better in there. Uh, so, actually, it's, it's been a very, very, very long time since I played in the name of the Tsar. Just because... Uh, for a long time, it just didn't work. Like, the mod itself didn't work for me personally. It works for other people, just not for me. When it were, well, I forgot the launcher update, uh, which was quite a while ago as well, but I'll look into it. And someone asked, well, how do you pronounce this country? B-E-L-A-R-U-S. Well, I pronounce it two different ways. I don't know if they're correct, but some pronounce it as Belarus, I think. Or White Ruthenia. I guess technically you could say that in Kaiser, right? White Ruthenia. Belarus. Isn't there another name? Belarusia? There's another name for it, too. Belarus. Belarus. I think that's the name. Belarus. That's that's more of the American way we'll probably pronounce it as. Belarus. Not Belarus, but Belarus. Oh, I know. I'll be making people angry. But we're going to go with technical training next. And then focus on taking out the communist threat. It doesn't matter how many factories we build. If we don't have people with the technical know-how to work in them. Inviting foreign advisors and, comp and companies to set up shop in our nation will help generate an influx of skilled labor. Then we can use this pool of skilled laborers to train our own people and improve our own self-sufficiency while we're moving our lines on foreigners at the same time. More construction speed and further industrialize our nation. Yes, please. Construction 2. Yes, please. Uh, we should probably start getting some better tanks, too. Because, like I said, we're going to be using tanks. I am tempted right now, though, not to use medium tanks and instead continue with maybe light tanks for a while? I don't know. I, that's probably a really bad idea since we'll be fighting Russia, so we're going to grab some more civilian stuff for now. But mm, maybe, maybe medium tanks? Light tanks? Light tanks are so fast. They're unbelievably fast, and I love them. I love light tanks a lot. They're so fast. Maybe 
Uh, we, maybe we'll, we'll start with light tanks. And then we'll move up to medium tanks, maybe. Just because we'll have mechanized eventually. And that might slow us down. But yeah, the earliest level of mechanized is not very fast. Especially when compared to, like, motorized. So, get a uh, military factory. That'd be great. Cool. We need more of this. Good, good, good. We can get some artillery on our guys, too. Oh, yes. Yep, keep building. We're going to need a lot of guns. We're going to need a lot of guns. We're going to need a lot of artillery as well. We're going to need quite a bit of support equipment as well. We're going to need a lot of everything. And make sure we get some motorized because we some of the things that we need to build. Uh, we need to build. We're going to get some um, factories. We're going to need some stuff. I can't think right now. What am I saying? I'm trying to drink some decaf coffee too, but I can't think. Royal Armed Forces. One of the first reforms to be passed by our king is the expansion of our military. To see Danilo's plan come to fruition will require a large and powerful army. The Poles, Romanians, and even the Russians have wronged us, but they will soon feel the fire of Ukrainian revanchism. Come forth, my brothers. Fight for Ukraine. Ukraine. Cool. Very cool. Also, on uh, yesterday's video, uh, one of the mod developers actually left a comment there saying thank you for playing the mod and yeah cool I will play this mod maybe a little bit more because there's a lot of different paths the Ukraine can take as well as Russia and Finland and maybe not Belarus yet or Belarus but that's okay does Mongolia have a unique focus tree I don't yeah I don't think they do but that's okay that's totally okay especially when they're led by Roman over here oh we need to build uh keep building more civilian factories right there good 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 uh, one two we're going to get three, and then we're going to start building a lot more military factories. I really shouldn't build on the coast, but you know what? It is where it is. And then maybe get some refineries in there, too. Because you never know what might happen. Maybe get a dockyard. Yeah. That'd probably be pretty good. Cool. And let's get some more military factories. Immediately. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's see. Mechanize over tanks. Yeah. So it's also someone recommended from yesterday's video that I use... Or have, I should use or have, a small but very powerful armored core. So we'll see what happens. I really want armor to do very, very well for us in this campaign. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to beat them. As someone stated yesterday in the comments, Russia is going to, it's just going to straight up beat us in terms of army size probably. So to stop that, we got to make sure we do good encirclements around the Russian army. So there is that. That's the ar armed royal forces. And the communists start with force. It's very likely that the communists were the ones behind the attempted assassination against the Hetman and the death of the king's mother. These scum have been allowed to commit their crimes unopposed for far too long. We will conduct raids on every suspected communist enclave and turn over every building in our major cities to find and punish these traitors. Ooh, Australia seeks... Oh, let's hope it pays off. So ooh, that's going to be not very good. Hmm. Oh, don't tell me we're going to have to fight the Russians and the Germans at the same time. That's not going to be good. That would be quite unfortunate for us. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm still going to industrialize with naval doctors because you still get a whole one. One. Infrastructure. That's really good. Oh. Yeah, destroy it. Cool. Train. Actually, you know what? Have all the ships train because I want to get as much naval XP for now as possible because there might come a time when we can't get any more. Let's see. Expansion is propaganda. We already saw this. Eh, it's okay. Manpower, that's quite a bit more. Mobilize the Rus. We are all Slavic brothers. Pro Kievan Rus propaganda. Daily compliance gain. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, Herson. Why not? A school in every town. That'd be good. Yeah, we need to have national spirit low literacy, which we'll get from this. We'd be okay. Anything else around here? Yeah, we just build, build, build. Ooh, getting more manpower. Look at that. Love it, love it, love it. Into our artillery. It's 1938. Happy New Year, my friends. Let's get some computing machines as well. Yatsenko. I... 28, huh? Cool. Let's see. Uh, radar 38. Yeah, we must get radar. Just because we can research the infantry stuff a little later. Superior firepower was very nice. Very nice. Cool. And the communist threat. Superior firepower. Let's get some delay doctrine as well. And so we're done here. We can do Legacy of the Kiev and the Rus. Uh, we will unlock the focus or create the faction to create the Black Sea Alliance. We get population, stability, more war support, generate war gold tension limit, minus 50%. Unlock decisions to core different parts of the former lands of the Kievan Rus once we control the required states. Very cool. Ukraine, Be Belarus, and Russia are all descendants of the great, same great empire of the Middle Age, the Kievan Rus. While over the following centuries, Russia would become the most powerful of the Rus's children, it is we who are the true heirs, controlling the old capital Kiev. We should cherish our heritage and embrace our destiny to rule all the peoples of the Rus. Russia will fall and the Ukraine will ascend. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we do well. That's my goal. Donetsk. 
Uh, so you build up those destroyers, and then they'll start working on this, which is, eh, it's okay. Ooh, we're not even making fighters. Oh, my goodness. Uh, at least get two on there first. Yeah, keep building, keep building. We're going to need it. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we've got some divisions. Nice. Let's make another, another army for now. There you go. Let time go on. Hopefully, Russia doesn't attack anytime soon. That'd be quite bad. And they shall be led by... Nat Stefaniv. Cool. And if I actually use uh, battle plans, just go extreme. Greater Portugal. Poland seeks Baltic cooperation to go to Portugal. Oh. Ah, oh, the Portuguese are having a bad time. Support a Spanish monarchy in the war. Army efforts, huh? Cool. Just let him do that. I don't want to be bothered with that for now. That'd be good. Ooh. And just realize this. Yes, please. Better light tanks. Awesome. And we can always do this whenever we want. So let's grab some armored cars. It was recommended that I use armored cars. Their armor is just not that great. Three, you can easily get pierced, which is definitely not ideal. Definitely, 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 definitely not. So we're going to do that. We can invite Finland. The King's Research Society is very good. We need very low literacy uh, removed as a national spirit. We can invite Bulgaria. The Minsk Conference. I can go to war with the Republic of Belarus. Belarus. Reclaimer territories in Romania. Reclaimer territories in Poland. We are the true heirs of the Rus. Cool. Cool. But I, I, I like factories too. Migration to the cities. Not bad. Not bad. I, think, I like that one a lot. What do we do? Uh, mandatory literacy requirements are going to be done soon. And cool. Migration to the cities. Whoopsie. So, uh, the construction of new factories and the growth of high paying jobs within them has encouraged many of our people to move to our cities for the more rural regions. The combination of a large available workforce and teams of skilled experts to lead them all. Uh, will act as a catalyst to further improve our nation's industrialization at a very rapid pace. More construction speed and even more factories. Don't mind if we do. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can integrate Belarusian territory, Romanian, Polish, Southern Russian, Northern Russian, Kiev and the Rus unified. Wow. Even more population. Attack and defense of core territory. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll probably go with base war support first because we could probably use that more. Mandatory literacy requirements. Even though this is probably good to get done too. Oh, wait. Oops. Oops. That's my bad. I let it go on. I was, I was wondering why we're getting so much political power. Whoopsie. Oh, well. That's okay. I make mistakes. Still getting more manpower, which is good. Very, very good. Keep training for now. Keep training. Good lord, we're going to need so many guns. Hey, at least we're getting some army XP. That's nice. That's actually really nice. We're finally getting some more army XP. We can mobilize them. We only get recruitable population factor by 5%, which is okay. Not great. But, you know, it's not bad. Could be worse. Could be better. But let's definitely remove this. A school in every town. Thank you. And we're going to continue just building ourselves up. Now, I do need Antras of Austria uh, to get to here so we can get some more daily army XP. But we're doing okay for now. Australia has severs ties with Britain. Well, that's sad. <clears throat> I could keep doing this. I do want to get down here. We could get another research slot down there as well. But let's go ahead and do the Ukrainian army. The Ukrainian army has not changed much since the Russian Civil War, with much of its numbers made up of cavalry armed with outdated equipment. The main reason for this has been the Cossacks' dominance of the nation's politics and military. Generals who have had no vision refuse to accept, the old, to accept that the world around them has changed, and they cling to the old ways of fighting wars, ways that were outdated even in the Great War. How sad. How sad. Plus 5%. Nice. Build, 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 build. We're probably going to need to build some forts along here, and probably forts along this border too, because uh, Germany's going to come knocking eventually. Hey, look. More destroyers. Just that you all train. It's fine. Doesn't really matter. Build, 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 build. More civilian stuff. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Proskurov and Zietomer. Cool. 1.62. Not bad, not bad. Sumi. Yekaterinoslav. Yekaterinoslav. Alexandrovsk. Alexandrovsk. Lugansk. Obviously, if you speak Ukrainian... My uh, attempt at pronouncing this stuff, pronunciating this stuff, ain't super bueno. All right, so I'm gonna wait. Maybe Ooh, I want so how much support do we have? Uh, that's not bad. If I were to do this, because we we've got to have engineers, we we would not have enough Ukrainian army. Very cool. Uh, let's see, which ones do we need to get rid of get these guys? Modernize the army, bring reforms to the Cossacks. Well, we can't do that one. 
So we need to modernize the army. So if we do that, we can get more daily army XP. So let's do this one first. Modernize the army. With the Cossacks out of power, we were finally able to make significant reforms to our armed forces, especially the army. We are free to pick up and choose the path of our doc doctrinal changes, which they shall take, but our journal suggests choosing a major power to emulate, namely Germany, France, and the USA. Any one of them would prove sufficient, but we must make a specific choice for the path we wish to follow. Oh, so that's what someone recommended that we choose the American doctrine. So I was like, the American doctrine? What do you mean? And I'm like, oh, okay. Study the American doctrine, which is superior firepower, which is great. And then we'll get this, we'll get this, and then we'll get this. That's not, that's not bad. Starting level of new army leaders, plus one. Pretty nice. Wow, that's a, that's a nice amount of army XP we got there. Very good, very good. Going to grab better radar so we can put it on our ship whenever we want to. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more stuff here. Hmm. I'm going to go get the military one next. Integralist Brazil declared one the Empire of Brazil. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, give me a little bit more. Sumi, or Sumi. Probably Sumi. Don't get any more every day. That's fine. Hey, at least we can start making a few fighters, even though, ooh, we need more steel. Maybe we should get more resource extraction then. Or we get lower to limit exports. That might be better. But we got to save our political power up. So they still have Pact of Petrograd with Belarus, which is not good. Mita Mors is over there. Hmm. I guess we technically we could go to war with Romania, unless they're guaranteed so by Poland. Yeah, they're guaranteed by so many different people. Wow. We could do that. We'll do that a little later. We can invite other people. Um, hmm. The Minsk Conference? If the Belarusians accept, we will annex them. If they refuse, we will get a war goal against them. Well, cancel guarantee of independence against... Oh! We cancel... Oh, okay. Huh. Invite Finland. We might be able to do that. I still want to do some more of this over here, though. This is really important to do. Civilian industry. The construction of new factories that produce civilian and consumer goods will better enable us to take, undertake more construction projects at a fast rate and also provide more goods to increase our people's quality of life. Cool. All right, so many guns are we out? Ah, <sighs> 1,700. Um, this is how I normally start it off. This is just pure inf. Pure inf plus support. There we go. That's what we're going to name it as, right? Uh, actually, you know what? Mm, that's not quite right. This one has to be the name like that. Let's lower time. Let's let time go on. But this is supposed to be pure inf plus support. There we go. There we go. Can't have the same name. Uh, let's go and do this as well. Get some another civilian factory. And this is 7 slash 2. Which we're not going to obviously use yet. And with this, I do want to throw on at least what elite infantry. What is this? Special forces, huh? Plus 0 0.03, 22 defense. This actually has more defense. You have more, slightly more recovery rate. Six. This has six breakthrough, huh? That's interesting. That's cool. I just want to use the normal ones for now. That'd be fine. Even more defense and stuff like that. That'll be good. Which is going to set us back even further. For guns, which is unfortunate. But down here, seven twos, we're going to switch you out to, so you can have just normal artillery stuff. Which would be good. Which Actually, I'm going to throw you guys to do that for now. So this way, Poland's a clear one, Lithuania, okay. We'll need less guns, and we can start using that over there. If you need a train, go right ahead. Actually, everyone needs a train. Do you have an upgrade? Yes, yeah, so Logistics Wizard would be good. Defense Adduction, I, I'm going to wait. Because that's pretty... We probably need to do that one against everyone we're fighting. Especially since, oh, they got the fascist one in the Civil War, okay. Just because, I'm not sure how good our defense is, maybe. Oh, you know what, screw it. We're going to go defensive doctrine now. Just because we want the tanks to do really well. So, that's way too ahead of time. Grab some extraction, because we could probably use it for steel. And then, grab one of these. Yes, very good. Military stuff, thank you. Not bad, I'm going to very soon start making some military factories. Uh, hopefully. Get another one done, and hopefully get level 1 going. There you go. Do that. 15, 15, 1. Not perfect, but it'll work. Civilian Industry 3. Sure, why not? The construction of new factories that produce civilian and consumer goods will better enable us to undertake more construction projects at a faster rate, and also provide more goods to increase our people's quality of life. Once again, now next we got to do what? Oh, oh, we can do that first. I was, I was looking around here. Next up we're going to grab is this. Low literacy. Oh, we still have that low literacy. 
Oh, okay, so we're getting it done. That's good. That's good down there. Cool. Are we... Oh, we have enough for to make the ships. I really heavy ship holes. I could make those, but those are okay. Ooh, Soblin. Um, you guys are light cruisers. Actually, these are probably better to make than destroyers. We don't have that quite there yet. Secondary batteries. Don't really care about torpedoes. I want them to do more anti-air stuff. Because that's what they really call for here. Um, That's usually fine. Ooh. Do I really want to use two of these? I suppose so. We gotta put as many, as much heavy firepower down, down the uh, ocean range as we possibly can. We can build some of those when we are done building more factories up. That'd be fine. Get yeah, put you at the top. There goes Poland and Lithuania. Now forming the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, of course. Cool. Oof. At least we get more daily armies. That's nice. That's really, that's pretty darn nice. So now let's save our political power up to get. Oh, Konstantin. There we go. Can't get him. But this guy. Cool. Uh, military staff, that'll be very important to do later on as well. The, oh, the Russian threat. Oh, boy. Um, I don't want to deal with that yet. The Russian threat. With every passing day, it becomes more and more clear that Russia intends to wage war against us and annex our lands. The leadership's fiery rhetoric against us leaves no room for interpretation. How are we to deal with this major threat to our nation? Our general staff assures us that, with the help of our allies, we should be able to make or take the Russians head on, and that we should offer no concessions. However, some of our more defeatist ministers and advisors suggest that we offer concessions in the form of a monetary teeth or give them some of our lands. This would be a major blow against our country's morale and prosperity, but if we could avoid war, what do we approach do we take with? You look kind of ugly. I'm just saying, man. Just I'm just saying. Um, then what are you doing? Conservative for the king. Uh, oh, did they leave the faction? Ah, they must have disbanded the faction. Cool. Let them come. We'll bring the Russians to their knees. The Russian threat. We refuse to offer any concessions and will not create the alliance of Kiev. Your Kiev. We have hope no open wind. Perhaps they'll accept his teeth. We will receive a national spirit that causes minus 0.15 political power per day and more consumer goods for two years. We have no hope of winning. Are they threatening me now? Hold on. Italy announces claims. Civilian industry. Uh, invite these guys. Well, maybe I should invite these guys. Finland, would you like to join? Finland may seem an odd choice for our alliance, as they are far from our being our neighbor. So it is, a, it is possible that our goals can become aligned. This is surely lands owned by Russia that Finland desires, and we wish to even eventually possess their state of Kar Karjala. Perhaps an agreement can be reached between us that will both find it necessary? Yeah. We cannot create the alliance of Kiev, actually. Whatever. No, we shall never bow down to the Russians, please. That would be, not be very good. Takes claim state war goal against them. Uh, yeah, I guess Finland next. Even though we'll do booming industries, which gives us even more construction speed and allows us to build factories very quickly for the next couple of years, so that's pretty good. In the meantime, keep training, guys, because you're going to have to learn how to shoot and shoot well. And hopefully, Belarus or Belarus does not do too much around here. And we have, what do we have? Oh, we got to improve our cavalry as well. Oh, why does everything have to cost so much? Make them at least 20 combat width. It's fine. We're going to need more guns now. And the tanks that we have, well, they're not great. I'll be honest. They're really not great. Uh, eight, nine, get a little more armor up. He's fine for now. Everyone start training. Start training, start training, start training. Woof. Excavation 2 is very good, very good. We're probably going to need some fuel, so let's go and get some oil processing. Fuel gain from refineries. Do we have refineries? Oh, they're under They're under the way. Uh, let's see. Daily gains, 523. Base gain. So we have no refiners, but we'll get them eventually. Whatever. Over here, anti-fascist raids. And we'll get that extra research slot, too. Yeah, do that for now. Invite Finland. Cool. And booming industries. Ukraine is now home to some of Eastern Europe's largest industrial centers. Our neighbors flock to buy our goods, and our nation's GDP is skyrocketing. Seeing the nation now, it is hard to believe that most of us lived in absolute poverty such a short time ago. The quality of life our people have attained has never been before seen in our country. Time to pop out the champagne and celebrate. Yeah, that might be a little too early. Oh, the kingdom, the kingdom of Finland is accepted. So our ambassadors to the Kingdom of Finland sent good news. The Kingdom of Finland has accepted our proposal and agreed to join our alliance. We shall face our enemies together. Our alliance grows stronger. Oh, that's cool. Black Sea Alliance, Mita Moors. 
What the heck? Fenlin. Fenlin. Oh, Petrograd's still the capital. You just joined, and then you left. Look, all right, so be it. You made your choice. We got to make ours. We're going to grab some field hospitals, though. You accept it, and then you said no. Terrible. Don't ever rely on the Finns. Oof. Let's get a bunch of army XP every day. Oh, yeah, that's going to be nice. How many guns are we out? Only 6.9 thousand. Nice. Mm-hmm. Support equipment is not looking bad. We're going to need that, though, for... Ooh, London Conference. Uh, Zoxim, it's Italy. We're going to need that for uh, support companies and field, field hospitals, really. Oh, Spanish Directory. Yes. Emilio Mola. Oh, wow, you have a stash, don't you, Francisco? Versus uh, Duarte. Oh, yeah, Brazil's also, also on fire. Integralist Brazil, that's true. That's cool. They're fighting those guys. Vargas, hopefully they win. Maybe, I don't know. Research Labs expansion, might as well right now, right? Research Labs expansion. Expanding our R&D centers and building new ones will drastically increase our research capabilities. Cool. Let's go in every town, and then we can get another research slot, right? So after this one, we can grab another research slot right there. Cool. Yeah, I'm not sure about inviting anyone else now, just because... Finland already left. Finland, why? Why would you leave, Finland? Were we mean to you? Or we lose organization if we do that. Oh, well. We have enough live tanks for now. It don't cost too much to make, too, so that's pretty good. It's almost 39. Just going to get some new guns. Tokarov. Ooh. Cool. Delay Doctrine would be really good to have as well. Really, really good. We'll probably start doing some mobilizing. Mobilize the Rus. Pop more population. Slavic Brothers would be good to do as well. UK exerts influence in Turkey, of all places. Okay, then. Unless we got something here. I mean, I do want to do more synthetic oil research speed stuff. Uh, mobile defense. Yes, we got to do that. Oh, we created an agency. You know what? what? What's a good agency name for the Ukraine, since we're here? Uh, I'm probably going to grab this guy. More defense. What is a good name for the agency? And I'm not going to... Uh, can we create it now? I guess technically we could. You come up here. Let me know. What's a good name for the, our Ukrainian agency? Rook? What is a good symbol for the Ukrainian agency as well? I'm going to go with this. I imagine there's a lot of force in the in Ukraine, so there's probably a lot of deer, maybe. I don't know. Another research slot? Great. Great, 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 great. Military industry now. As much as we may dislike it, war is an ever-present threat to our nation. We must ensure that our military is fully equipped and prepared to face a total war with our neighbors. More military factories? A fifth research slot? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Happy 1939, my friends. Get this first industry because we need more output right now. I'm not sure if the Russians are going to attack now, or maybe the Germans are going to attack first. Uh, that's not good. Oh, and actually, I'm going to have to put you down here then. Ooh, I guess we can't. Okay then. Mobilize the Rus. Might as well. Get that one done. We are all Slavic brothers. It'll be good for less damage garrisons. If we're keeping the Rus propaganda, which would be nice eventually. But I'm probably going to go next with Minister Herkraf. Her Her Back off. Oh, there goes... Oh, well, there goes Slovenia. Slovenia already. But there goes the Sudetenland. Nom, 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 nom. Yum, yum, yum. So has France gone democratic or invest in West Africa? It looks like they might have oil processing. It is 39. Grab some more construction speed because we build, 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 build here in Ukraine. Rook, good. I'm not going to invest anything else into it for now. Just because I want to make sure we can build, 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 build like crazy. Booming Industries. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Military Industry 1. Let's grab Military Industry 2. As much as we may dislike it. <clears throat> war is an ever-present threat to our nation. We must ensure that our military is fully equipped and prepared to face total war with our neighbors. We get three more military factories, which is very, very nice. Guns are looking a lot better. Uh, we could use quite a few more planes. We need more steel. Ooh, yeah, next one we're going to do. I'm going to go down to limited exports. And probably get more extraction. That's what we're going to need. That is definitely what we're going to need. Right. So you guys. You have recon. Grab, put some uh, artillery on those guys. It gives you a little bit more soft attack. That'll be nice. It doesn't really hit our stockpile of artillery too much, which is good. That's looking, that's just coming along very nicely for this. And got a good amount of naval XP, which is awesome. Support gun is looking good. We're going to need to get more army XP so that we can... Uh, Get more stuff. Get more stuff. Uh, maybe don't get more stuff. Get field hospitals on all divisions. Maybe except for armor. Yeah. Military Industry 3. We're going to go get even more. 
Number three, as much as we may dislike it, war is an ever-present threat to our nation. We must ensure our military is fully equipped and prepared to face total war with our neighbors. Of course, again, we are all Slavic brothers. Well, we'll see about that. Cool. We're doing a very well down here. Get more fires. Fires are going to be so important for the war. Making sure that we don't get outgunned in the air. Woof. What is this? Oh, Mobile the Rus. Okay, Kingdom of Portugal. Why would you go to war with them? Oh, Greater Portugal. Okay, sure. Why not? Why not? It is 39. We can grab, get some better engineers first. Yep, definitely get better engineers. Because when we start digging holes, we better start digging well. That's really weird that they're both so orange brownish. Hmm. Alright, next up. And we still get 1.62 a day. Italy seeks extensive military pact. New alliance in the region. Novus Imperium Romanum. So they're not going to go to. Not going to ally with Germany. Okay. Alright, well, whatever. Yugoslavia looks a little sad. I always thought this looks like a little sack down here. That looks really disgusting in my, in my mind, but whatever. Yeah, this looks really sad without Slovenia. But that's okay. That's them, not me. I mean, so far, it looks like we're doing a... We have an army that can match these guys. They have a non-aggression pack with the Germans. Uh, yeah, no, they got way more divisions than us. They have way more. Holy cow. Let's get the King's Research Society. Creating an association of scientists, enticed with the promise of fame, wealth, and entitled to nobility, we can gather Ukraine's greatest minds together and put their talents to use in research efforts directed by the state. The King's Research Society shall prove to be the premier intellectual circle that all scientists will all want to be involved with. Very cool. Look at that. All soldiers are ready to go. Oh, someone's coming in or something. 1939. Uh, get, get radar. We can kind of wait. Let's grab some more cap. Yeah, keep going. Now we got more soldiers deployed, which is great. Train them, train them, train them. And let's make some better rifles, even though we're still out, which is probably not a good idea. Oh, man, we lowered it, but we still have a bigger deficit of... Oh. Hmm. We need more resources. Tungsten? Actually, we should probably do that, too. Synthetic oil. Yeah, we need, we need to focus on this side more. Kiev? Synthetic refineries. That's pretty good. Resource, no, production and retention, cap and growth. Oh, this is not bad. Nationalized mining companies. It's not bad either. I mean, we could go to war basically whenever we want. You guys. <sighs> hmm. How many resources do they have? Nothing. Okay. Oh, actually, Polish, Lithuanian, Commonwealth has Roslavl as a core state, huh? All right, and it's merely a week before we have a total of six, six research slots. Never enough, never enough. Let's get some more extraction. Cool, and we'll do Engineering and Mining Institute. The Kharkiv Institute for Mining and Engineering will serve as our nation's premier education center for, as the name implies, engineering with a focus on mining. As our industry and economy continue to grow, the need for raw resources will grow as well. Finding more efficient and effective ways to extract these resources is imperative for continued economic growth. <sighs> yes, never enough. Uh, that could be okay. It's 39. Let's go and grab some field hospital twos and throw some field hospitals on our guys here now. Ooh, engineers though. We will need some motorized. So it's going to be a while before we can actually make all that stuff, because we're going to need a few more trucks here and there. Italy's gone to war with Greece in 39. Well, good luck, guys. We're all Slavic brothers. Well, we'll see about that. Mm, fighters. Heavy fighter reliability. We're not going to use those. Fighters, this will be probably on what we use. Yeah, we're probably going to go with this for more research speed as well. That'd be good. What if over here? Ooh, artillery. I like that. Infantry genius. 20. Oh, yeah. Huh, okay. You get more 4% more entrenchment speed. That seems like a waste. Is it real, huh? Visinovich. Huh. Okay, Doki. 39. Okay, focus more on this stuff. We could focus maybe on actually making a better ship. Eh, we might as well, since we do have six research slots now. We might as well and have a good time. <sighs> hmm. Mm-hmm. Medium tanks, mobile... Tank designer, cool. Speed, reliability. Well, I'm gonna go with this guy just because I know I know we're gonna go down that path quite a bit. 
We could use tungsten, we could use steel, but let's get some more steel first. Open new iron mines. Iron is one of the most common elements on Earth, and there are plenty of untapped deposits within our borders. Essential for the creation of steel, available resource using everything from nails to dreadnoughts, the demand for it grows every day. Opening new iron mines will be our next objective. And after that, we're going to start focusing a little bit more on maybe uh, inviting uh, Belarus or Belarus into our nation. What is what happened to Bulgaria? Hold on. Let's grab some recon companies too, that'd be great. Bulgaria? Where did you go? Or did you go to... Oh, you're allied with Italy. Ah. So you're... So Bulgaria is fighting Italy and Greece. No, they're fighting Romania and Greece. Well, Italy seems to be doing okay-ish. Poor Bulgaria, though. Oh, no. No longer getting booming industries. No, 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 no. Uh, you know what? Naval dockers can go to the bottom. I don't mind making some refineries now, just in case we can't import it anymore from anyone else. Elsewhere, we probably still will be able to import it from Romania, but who knows how long they will exist. Italy's doing a okay-ish job for now. What is Germany up to? We have no idea. Okay. Uh, get some better ships. Hold on, yeah. One slot. Well, the ship slots. Ah, oh, there goes the Mexican Junta. I forgot they were still at war with each other. Motorized is bad, support equipment is bad, but we got plenty of guns. We're probably going to need to keep it on 15 at all times, so let's go and see what we can do about the Minsk Conference. The Belarusians are not our enemies, they are our brothers. We share a bond that was formed when we both slaved under the yoke of the Russians. We need them as much as they need us. Surely they can see this. Let us send a delegation to Minsk with the goal of convincing the Belarusian government of the merits of unification between our two nations. We only need to convince a few key players in the government. Well, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, in the meantime, you guys come right here. Renew the Rome Protocols. Do you think votes really change anything? Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria, which means you. Oh, that is. Oh, also Hungary got that little portion there. It's not a core though. Alliance with Italy. Um. Hmm. Oh no, the is still there. West Benat. We got Vojvodina now down there. Hmm. Morava, huh? How's the war looking right now? Current wars? Uh, well, they're not doing too bad, actually, compared to what's going on. They almost lost... Oh, actually, Bulgaria did a pretty poor job, I'd say. Wow. Come on, Greece. If you lose your capital, again. If you guys invade down there, you could probably win. It's 39. Let's grab some more extraction. That'd be good for the steel. Very good. That'd be much better, actually. Oh, we need more aluminum. We need a lot more resources. Hmm. We need more fighters as well. And we're going to need some better interwar bombers, which I should probably research next. Artillery will be pretty important. Field hospitals, twos. Good. I'll grab some artillery. I don't want to forget that, too. And then planes. 1936 bombers, of all things. We could increase its conscription. Expansion is propaganda. That's so good to do, though. 15%. But, just in case, when if we were to ever get attacked, we've got to go with infantry genius, dude. So... Reclaim our territories in Poland, and by Bulgaria, and Romania, Romania, we, oh, you know, let's do that now. Sabotage Romanian diplomacy. The Romanian's greatest defense is not their small and unequipped military, it's their network of alliances that they have with other Balkan nations, and most importantly, with France. Utilizing our agents to sabotage Romanian relations with the benefactors must be the first step in the conquest of Romania. They accepted, oh, they accepted our offer, cool. They've been proven to be very receptive during the Minsk conference, and they've accepted our proposal. Already, our diplomats have begun hatch hashing out the specific details concerning integration. I straight up annex them. And we get their army. Wow. I don't even want to look at this stuff. Just do all that stuff. There you go. Just make it a whole another new army, then. Now, unfortunately, that means... We probably don't get cords on them. No, we don't. Oh, God, that's going to be so bad. Can I integrate... Oh, wait, hold on. I can integrate them. We get cords on all territories. Never mind. Okay, then. Interesting. Okay, yeah. I'll, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh, uh, why do you have to be an old guard? Why? Vesvolvold Petrov. Hello. <laughs> oh, God. Templates. I don't even want to see this stuff. Nope. I cannot be tempted with evil stuff like that. Just in case. We're going to grab this guy. Just in case for more defense. Because now we stretch out our lines a little bit more. Which is not ideal. But it is what it is. I'm going to need another infantry army down here, too. Because, well... I don't want to get invaded. I don't want Halson invaded. Keep training, guys. You're doing a great job. How much are we out of equipment? Motorized and support equipment again. Hmm. 
excavation one. Let us grab some fuel refining, because that's always good to get more fuel. So we annex them, but we got no resources. We just got more cores and more manpower, technically more factories, so that's not too bad. Mobile defense, very cool. Let's grab some... It's never really worth doing that. Integrated support. Very good. Pact of Rome formed. Germany is no longer unopposed. Hungary joins. Okay, okay, what are you doing? Okay, Slovakia, that looks really disgusting. It's a very small, like, like worm. And Italy, of all people... Oh, Italy, you are losing. Why did you go to war with France? Oh, they joined the Allies. You're losing the war against Romania. What are you... Oh, my goodness. And they join... Oh, no. Well, Germany. What are you up to, Germany? Seriously. Mm. This is turning out to be very weird. A very weird World War II. They have so many divisions there, which is not good. Uh, 39. We're doing that. We need to get some of these. We probably should really get some of those. We can't do that yet. Well, let's get some bombers since we want to make them anyways. There you go. We'll be using tactical bombers, not close air support in this campaign. Uh, how are our ships doing? Yeah, they're still doing okay. They're still training, which is getting more naval XP, which is good. Oh my gosh, Italy, please. Oh my gosh, they kicked out the Italians. Italy, you were doing so well for a while. Why? Why? Germany, seriously, what the heck are you doing? It's already it's already November 18th, 1939. Germany. Germany. What are you doing? Oh, but then... Oh, but it, oh, they joined the Allies here, too. So I can't go to war with them and... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we invite, could invite Bulgaria. Let's invite Turkey. Let's see what the Turks are up with, maybe. Maybe, maybe they'll have some good stuff. Maybe? If Turkey is obsessed, we will give them the seats of Armenia and Azerbaijan when we, or someone else, in our faction takes ownership of the states. Um, and Poland, huh? You know, let's do that one first, just in case, because Germany might go to war with Poland eventually, and we want to have claims, and we might be able to beat up Poland at the same time. While well, we were caught up in the turmoil of the Civil War, the Poles selfishly stole our land under the guise of helping us fight against the commies. The wrongs they have committed against us cannot go unpunished. We must put the Poles back in their place and liberate our people who suffer under their rule. Well, let's see what happens, because this is a big ol' ally group now. Hmm. Really not ideal. Oh, man, we're going to... Oh, man, we're not even making any convoys. We need to make some convoys. Oof. There you go. There you go. We have no steel. Hey, got some better ship holes, though. We can't make that yet just because we got to get some uh, cannons. So. And I know those aren't the cannons that we really need, but it is what it is. Well, this is turning out to be a very weird world. I guess if we really wanted to, we could just start the war with Russia, which we'll probably... We'll, by the end of the next video, we will be at war with Russia. Or at least someone. I promise you that. We'll definitely be at war with someone. Eh, let's get some better radar for now. That's fine. I'm mean, loving the research speed. I could use more factories, but it's going to take some time to get that, so that's fine. <sighs> Resource-wise, though, just... Oh, my goodness. That's why we need refineries. Get more of our own rubber. I'll trade away for one more rubber, though. That'll be okay to do. Interwar armored cars. Oh, we're making actual interwar armored cars, huh? Uh, it's almost 1940. Just go and start doing some more re research speed. That'd be fine. Cool. Cool, cool. Put more on there. Put more on there. There you go. Not bad. We're all Slavic brothers. We're probably going to need that, honestly. Yeah. And then we can get some propagandists to get more daily compliance, which will be very good for us. I'm just waiting for Germany to go to war. Oh my gosh, France are looking huge. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Oh, Hungary's actually doing okay. So far. <sighs> the fall of Rome. God dang it. Stupid allies. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. Oh, of course. Here we go. How long is it going to take for them to go to war with us? Well, we're not really sure what they're doing. Romanov dynasty. They're probably doing prepared for war. War with a Kievan. Oh. Wait, they declare war on four different people at the same time. Oh. Well, I'm not sure how long that's going to last. Please get done soon. Please get done soon. Oh, you guys aren't even training. Uh, don't even train then. You're done training. Oh, this is going to be a really sucky war, I'll tell you what. Next up, we got to grab this guy for even more defense, because this is going to be real not bueno. There you go. How many more planes? Ah, we got a couple planes here. It's not bad. A few planes here and there.
At least we got Belarus under us, which is nice. This, not so much. Oh, they're going to be smacking the snot out of us, probably. Uh, actually, you guys are looking okay-ish. So you guys, cut you guys down even further. Oh, did I not put them on here? I did not. You know what? Go ahead and put engineers on these guys if we can. That'd be good. We, we can't afford it yet. And now we need so much more support equipment, so you're going to come to the top. Cool. And we shall finish this episode with something else. What shall we end with? Invite Bulgaria. Yeah, I don't want to get involved with that stuff in, in Bulgaria right now. Not a good idea. Air Force, Army, Navy. Let's do a study of the American Doctrine. The USA has a, had a very interesting approach to the way they structure their army, relying heavily upon artillery and aircraft to support their infantry. Their officers are trained to act also as spotters, leading to a versatile use of artillery strikes and air bombardments. Perhaps our army is best suited for this unconventional approach. But that will end today's episode, my friends. Tomorrow we will be engulfed into the flames of war against those evil god dang godless souls called Russians. Whatever. Cool. Hope you enjoyed it, though. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we see Italy capitulate and Russia become very, very aggressive towards us. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.